In this video, I want to show you how to create an app. It's very easy. All you have to do once you have your workspace set up, which I showed you in the last video, come up here and click Add App. You'll have the option to create your own app or go to the, mar the app market. Now, the app market has a lot of apps. Some of them will be useful to you, but you'll never find the exact app that you need. So, I always I'll suggest that you create your own app. It's very easy. So let's create your own app. Give it a name. Call it Leads. Now the item name. So every item in the Leads app will be called a lead. We can pick the icon. I'll pick a house icon. Now the layout. There's a couple different. You have badges, table, card, activity, and calendar. I like the table setup. It's kind of like an Excel table, just line by line. Each record has its own line. Badges are like cards. Yeah, they have a card set up. I, we could show you this once we get into and create a create a record or two. So let's select tab, the table. At this point, I'm not going to give it description or instructions on how to create an item. You can do that yourself if you'd like. Now the app, the app type is standard and event. I've never messed with the event type yet, so we're just going to pick standard. And then create app. And this is the app creation screen. Very simple. It's basically drag, drop, change name. So they automatically create one for you. You don't want title, say address. I'll drag the next one for city. Now, one thing you should need to change on each one of these text fields is uh, you want to make it a single line instead of multi line. Multi line is good for descriptions or when you ask an open ended question like why do you want to sell your house? That sort of deal. So we just click off the save, automatically saves. Now we add a few more for state. Make that change again. And zip code. Next, we can add a. Uh, I like to add a map. Basically, this shows you a Google map of the address. It's very cool. It's just one more thing you don't have to look up. Now, next, we'll put a category field in here. Or status. We want to record the lead status. Status. Now we give it the different statuses. So we'll say prospect responded. Offer made. Scroll down a little bit. Under contract deal and a dead lead. So we have six possible statuses. We can also change the status color. You'll see what this is. When you click on it, just it's highlighted in a different color. This is just personal preference. You can just leave you can leave it all green if you want. I'm just showing you the different options. Now let's add another field for uh, contact. This will be the contact information for the seller that sent it to you. Now one thing you have to change here is the contact type. Because this is just a general contact for just this item only, not the entire workspace which it defaults to, or the workspace where it will automatically share this information with the lead which you don't want to do. Create, select workspace contact only. Hit done. That's all you have to do for the contact field. And now let's add a few more, like bedroom. This is a number specific field, so it only allows you to enter numbers. We'll add another one for bathrooms too. There's no other additional updates. I mean, if you have like a an ARV field, you can adjust to see how many uh, decimal places are after. It's pretty simple. It doesn't give you too many options. 
And then you have a few other. So let's add a uh, an image field. This allows you to upload image files like pictures of the house. And here's a money field. We'll put that in there right above the image. So you can drag and place these anywhere you want. You can adjust them after the fact too. Just click, drag, and move. So we'll call this the uh, asking price. See the kind of options, set the currency. This should probably should default to the US dollar. Anyway, all right, so this is the basic app. You can add as many fields as you want. These are all your options. Some of them won't apply. Relationship we'll use later when we create a second app, say like a buyer's app or something else where you can relate someone in that application, a record in that application to a record in the leads. We'll show you that in another video. So when we're all set, we click done. And now you'll pop into the leads app. And we have no records right now, but to do this we can say, well, let's add, add a lead. So you get a call. It's the street city, state, and zip. Now for the map field we have to retype the address in there. Minor thing, you could probably set up a, uh, a workflow using Globiflow to auto populate this field but for now it's not a big deal. What's cool about this is it auto finds it because it pulls it right from Google Maps. So now we have one South Street Mars town and instantly the map pops up and that's the location. We can click on this map and it'll bring up the full-blown Google Maps where you can zoom in, zoom out, check out a street view and it makes it a lot quicker than going in and typing the street address into Google. Let's, come down, let's uh, scroll down call it a prospect. In this case he's responded. You add the contact information. Let's add new contact. No organization or job title, phone number. An email address. And that's about it. There's some more fields down here. If you need this information, like say you have um, want to send them a mailing later on, you can get the mail address to this to this seller if it's different from the property address. When we are done. Let's just remove that. Save. Click off of it, and here's the the details for the contact number of bedrooms: three, two bathrooms. Asking price of fifty thousand. Let's add an image. I had two images. Load pretty quick. Done. You can see the images. And we can also upload general files, like say so you have contracts or other documents, maybe an MLS listing. Anything you want, you can upload into here. You can usually just, if you have it on your desktop, you can click and drag it right here, as you can see, drag items. For you to upload, it's very easy, very fast. Now, once you're done, you can hit save lead. Now we've saved the information. Now we can click X to move out. Now you can see here's our first lead. If you want to get into it, you just click on it, it pops up. Over here on the right, it keeps track of all the information and all the happenings and events that happen to this lead. Say if I make an update, I change the status to an offer made. You can see here on the activity, you have a history and it shows you that the status has been changed to offer made. You can add comments. So if you're working with a team or you have another, uh, you talk to this seller again, you can add notes here, so you can have a chronological order of events. It's very useful.
and that's pretty much how you share you uh, create a lead and create an app in Podio. Now, one of the things I wanted to show you is the different layouts. You can change those at any time. So the badge layout, you'll get something like this. That's handy if you say in another you build another app for uh, offers or houses under contract. <clears throat> you won't have as many, so you can come up with these boxes with some information. Since I'm in the leads app, and I'll probably have hundreds of leads, I like to view it in a table in a row. It gives me the better options or easier way to view the information I want. You can also modify what field you want to see. Say I don't want to see the map, contact, number of bedrooms, I don't care, or image. I just want to see, I don't need the state because I'm always in New Jersey. And I want to see just these four fields. So there you go. So if you have any questions about creating an app, as you can see, it's very easy. It's just drag and drop. It gives a lot of options, a lot of flexibility. And uh, that's all. Thank you.